Hi guys! Again, this is Sir Janelle. And we are about to discuss our quarter 3, module number 2. Recognizing Propaganda Techniques. So what is propaganda in the first place? Propaganda is a mode of communication used to promote and influence a cause or certain view. It is a collection of messages aimed at influencing the views of people, not giving the opponents any chance to rebut the concept. It is mostly focused on spreading ideas to manipulate the behavior of many instead of telling them the truth. So why is it important for you to learn or to recognize propaganda techniques? As mentioned, it will help us tell or to distinguish truth from lies. It will help us to avoid being manipulated by what we see. Moreover, it has taken the form of art, speeches, music, and films over the years, but it is not limited to these means of communication. Propaganda can also be found in news, journalism, public relations, education, and even in our daily conversation. In short, Propaganda devices or propaganda techniques are all around us. It is mostly present in politics and businesses and in many forms of entertainment including TV shows, video games, and social media like Facebook and YouTube. Now, there are different kinds of propaganda tactics or techniques and these are used in advertisements to persuade people to buy the products. So at this point, we will discuss the first three types of propaganda techniques. First, name calling. Second, glittering generalities. And third, transfer. Let's begin with name calling. It is also known as stereotyping or labeling. It gives a negative symbol or bad label to establish an unfavorable opinion or hatred to a person or idea. This is used to make the audience reject the person or the idea without examining what the label really means and looking at the available evidence. Cartoons and photographs are used in name calling. This technique is mostly used in politics. The most obvious type of name calling involves bad names, for example, Kami, Fascist, Pig, Yuppie, Terrorist, and Racist. So these are examples of name calling. Moreover, we'll see in the picture another example of name calling. So we can see in this picture the rivalry of two Pastillas products. Pastillaceous ever since 2020 and it's my pastillas, the original pastillas. We can see the bad label below, the weak one. So this is an example of name calling because it shows a direct attack on its business rival giving it a bad label, the weak one. So the second type of propaganda technique that we will discuss is what we call glittering generalities or also known as virtue words. This is the opposite of name calling. Why? Because this propaganda device uses emotionally appealing, vague, broad words or statements to generate positive feelings in the minds of the masses, which they associate with the product. The words used are highly valued concepts that will connect with the audience's beliefs and values and they carry conviction without supporting information or reason. So, glittering generalities also links a person or idea to a positive symbol. Slogans are used in glittering generalities. For example, democracy, patriotism, family values, freedom, justice, and glory. So in our module, we'll see another example of glittering generalities. In this advertisement example, it shows a positive feeling towards having a pet. Living with pets 
makes you live longer and makes your life healthier. So the third type of propaganda technique that we will discuss in this video is what we call transfer. Transfer employs the use of symbols, quotations, images of famous people to impact an idea or claim that carries respect, authority, sanction, to make it look more acceptable. Religious and patriotic images are commonly used in this propaganda technique. For example, church, nation, flag waving, university seal, medication, association, or symbol, and science. In our module, we'll see another example of a picture which shows the propaganda technique transfer. So this advertisement uses a symbol by displaying a woman who wears baro at saya, a traditional dress and symbol worn by women in the Philippines. Why? To persuade the buyers to buy their own products. So there you have it guys, this ends our discussion of module number 2, the first three types of propaganda techniques. And in our next module, we will recognize, we will learn the remaining types of propaganda techniques in module number 3. So at this point, I would like to congratulate and take this opportunity to uh, appreciate four of my Rosal students who uh, were recognized or achieved with honors award for the second grading period and they are as follows. Joanna Marifer Garcia, Alexandra Rain Jimenez, Richelle Therese de la Cruz, and Fred Moore Cruz. Congratulations guys and keep it up.